Okay, so you should have a graph that looks somewhat like this, hopefully a lot neater than mine. But again, to recap, we have drawn the average total cost in blue, and this is what you could expect to pay on average, which includes both your labor and fixed cost. Here you have your average variable cost in black, and this is what you pay for your labor only. And if you remember that AVC can never be above ATC, because AVC plus AFC is ATC. Now the marginal cost is in red, and again, when you are going to uh, wash one more vehicle, you, you can kind of see how the cost is going to increase as you are going to wash one more vehicle. And this would make sense, because if you're washing one vehicle in one day, you feel a lot of energy, you have a lot of stamina, but as the day progresses, you wash two, three, four, five vehicles, your body can take a toll. And so there is a higher cost when you are washing more vehicles in one day. The newest curve that we have drawn is that of the MR. And just to again illustrate, it is a horizontal line in green. We can put here that price, which is also the demand curve, is equal to the marginal revenue. So again, we could see that the, the firms, the producers don't have any, any influence at all in the market. They would like to increase price to maybe $12, $15, but they can't because they are now bound by this uh, marginal revenue of $10. Now, in the last video we showed, we looked at the break even and shutdown points. But since now that price is given, we want to find out what is the profit maximization point. Profit maximization point. Now, when you think about the, the word profit maximization, it's not how much you're going to make in one day. Rather, it's the last unit where you can make money. So it's a maximum, more of a horizontal maximum, as opposed to a vertical maximum of how much you can make. So this profit maximization point is gonna show us exactly at what last point are you going to make profit. So we know for a fact that profit maximization point is where MR equals MC by rule. MR equals MC. Now we can see MR equals MC somewhere along this point. I'm going to name that profit maximization point. Now we can also say that at this point you are not supposed to wash one more vehicle because if you do wash one more vehicle that can show you that the cost in red is greater than the revenue in green, which simply says that it wouldn't make sense to wash vehicles beyond this point, because now you see that the marginal cost exceeds marginal revenue. So you do not want to produce or not produce, wash more vehicles beyond this point. Now we could also see that MC and MR intersect at the very beginning at one vehicle. But look at marginal cost. Marginal cost is declining. Marginal revenue is constant. So if you were to wash one more vehicle, the cost is less than the revenue. Here you have marginal revenue exceeding marginal cost which tells you to keep washing vehicles. So once you have found the profit maximization point, now the big question is, is this firm, is your mobile car wash, are you making any profit, any money? So I want you to see where profit maximization point is located, and we can then go ahead and draw a dotted vertical line down to the x-axis. 
Now, it might sound silly that we are looking at maybe four, I'll make it simple, 4.25. We can't really wash four and a quarter of a car, but if you made this, let's say, in hundreds or thousands, you could see that you could wash uh, 425 vehicles, 4,250 vehicles, uh, if we look at 4.25. But now I want you to see that based upon the graph that we have, we have created this rectangular box that looks as such. And this will represent what we call your revenue, your revenue. So now I can put revenue like so. And we know that in algebra, we have a rectangular shape which has an area of length times width. The length is 4.25 and the width is 10. And then now we can go ahead and calculate that to get revenue. We should get 42.50, 42 as our revenue. So now we want to know, well, are we making money? Are we making any profit? So the question now is, well, what is the cost? What is the cost? Notice how we have ATC right below the profit maximization points. Again, ATC is blue. And we have ATC right about here. So now we can see that if we were to draw this ATC where it crosses the dotted vertical line of profit maximization to the y-axis, we're bound to have another rectangular box like so in blue. And this blue rectangular box is going to represent the cost. So if cost is given based upon this point, we would then have to guess what that is. And it seems to be that that cost is bound to be, uh, let's just say around, let's say maybe $8. We could then say that cost is bound to be length, 4.25, times the width of eight. And that gives us $34. So once we have the revenue and the cost, the big question now is, are we making profit? To find profit, it's gonna be revenue first minus cost. Always revenue first minus cost. And based on what we have, we have 42.50 minus $34, which gives us a profit of $8.50. Not bad in one day. So you could see that based upon the price given, it is going to be the same as your marginal revenue in a perfectly competitive market. But at least in this case, your mobile car wash, you are making profit. And that's something worth noting when it comes to, again, your own business.